we have seen in a previous video how to import a point cloud to do engineering. Here, we will see how to visualize a huge point cloud inside the 3D Experience platform and how to extract a portion of it to do engineering using the Civil Engineer role and Terrain Preparation app. To run this application, an out-of-core technology is applied, meaning that the point cloud will be visualized in streaming in the platform and will stay either in a file on your computer or another server on your network, either in the database. You can define in your Terrain Preparation preferences where this data that can be several gigabytes can be stored. In this example, I will leave the data on my laptop. Now we will create an object of terrain type. Make sure to be in large range. I create a 3D path that will be the container for the area I will extract from the point cloud. Finally, rename your terrain. This will allow you to find it easily in the database. You need to be in the Terrain Preparation app or Building and Civil Assemblies to have access to the import large terrain file command. You can import several formats such as XYZ, PTS, LiDAR, and so on. You can either pick a single file as a source Either pick the whole directory containing all your files. Define the CRS, the coordinate reference system that was used as a referential to create the point cloud. The CRS need to be downloaded first in the platform. See the geolocation tutorial for more information about that. Define the CRS you want to work with. If you do not set the same as the one from your point cloud, Katia will automatically convert the information properly in your new CRS. Click on Import. This operation can take some time, depending on the amount of data you have in your folder. Once your data has been imported once, reopening and navigating will be really quick. You are now streaming the point cloud, meaning the more you will zoom, the more points will be displayed in your screen. Now that the import is done, a specific representation for your point cloud has been added to your specification tree. You can right-click on it and click on More to get more information. You can see there the number of points and set the rendering effect to Hill Shade. This will define a position for the sun and you will see all the shadows, providing a better visualization of the terrain. Now we will extract an area of the point cloud where we want to do some engineering, for example. I click on New Selection, zoom in the area I want to work with, and create a trap with the mouse. This creates a bounding box that I can manipulate. Once I validate, an area of the point cloud has been extracted and added to my 3D shape. This can be used to create a terrain, and you can get more information on this by looking at the Create Terrain tutorial. You can then save your work. When you want to retrieve your data, you can search for the title you gave earlier. If you do a normal open, your engineering data will be loaded inside the 3D shape. If you want to visualize the full context of the large point cloud, you will have to do an open advanced and use the option with all representations. Then the large point cloud representation will be loaded. You can of course hide it or unload it if you do not need it in your session anymore. Unloading it will not remove it from your product structure, but just unload it and free space from your memory. 